Good afternoon, guys. So, I'm gonna pull the band-aid off real fast. Let me just tell you. Matt found my cat. She had passed away. She is now. Matt buried her over by my, my barn. So I can plant her little garden and things things are okay. I'm okay. <laughs> I'll grieve just a little bit, but I'll be okay. I miss my cat. I miss my girl. This is like my baby girl. But the reason why I pulled this camera out is not to be negative today. I'm coming around here to the front of the house because I have a trailer hooked on the truck. Why do I have a trailer hooked on the truck, you ask? I want to show you. So, meet Frank. This is Mike's dad. His name's Frank. He's a Kiko buck. He's huge. He's a little worn down because uh, he's been in rut for a little while, but we're borrowing him because Mike is just not tall enough to breed Maudi or Dolly. So we're going to borrow Frank and uh, he's going to get some girlfriends for just, just a little bit. Oh, well, he's kind of scared of the pig. Can't blame him. But uh, he's already been sniffing the ladies. Pig, you better watch yourself. Hello, oh, Miss Ruth. So, yeah. He's got some He's got some girly attention now already. He just got here. They think he smells wonderful. He does not. He stinks so bad. But, well, we will get some more of... Uh, Frank adventures of Frank in a little bit so guys what do you think I mean I'm pretty I am happy with him I think he's beautiful and he's just got to get the little pecking order out good morning um day two with well the morning after with Frank <laughs> let's go see how he's doing I've already peeked outside and he was laying under one of my hay bale feeders. Absolutely loving it. Sitting there just reach up, eat, and uh, shake his head. Having him a good old time. But let me, here, hold on. Hello girls. Hi Frank. He's beautiful. Big old boy. And like I said, he is Mike's dad, so. That's where Mike gets his handsomeness from. Are you okay? They want cookies. He does like cookies, so. Hello, Frank. How are you? Hello, Maudi. Do you like Frank? I hope you like Frank because I want some, some Frank and Maudi babies. Oh, she likes him. Look. Oh. He's a little reactive still. But he had girls loving on his beard yesterday, so he might be a little touch me not at the moment. Especially with her. Dolly was loving on him. But oh, Maudie likes him though. Look. Oh, her likes him. I think it'll be a good fit. Because he she's almost as tall as he is. Oh, he likes Reba. I'm pretty excited. He's gonna go eat some hay. 
because it's cold it's 30 degrees out here I did something a little different in the rabbit barn I plugged in I have a heat lamp for the baby chickens which they go out during the day and they're fine but just overnight I don't want them to get cold so I put them up put a heat lamp on them and they are feathered so it's not like I don't have to I just do but I bring my I have water bottles I carried them in my milk bucket for the rabbits because it's cold and I want to make sure that it's not frozen. Here's what I did. I plugged in another heat lamp. Let's see what the temp is. It is almost 40 degrees in here. I don't know if y'all can see that. There you go. Almost 40 degrees in here. And really I was just trying to see if something as simple as having another heat lamp. It's up high. Nothing can knock it down. There's nothing in this room that can knock it down if that would help raise the temperature enough to keep the bottles from freezing and it did it kept it just below 40 it got to 30 overnight it was 31 when i got outside this morning so that's it works great um as well as i'm leaving my my litter under my rabbits a little bit deeper so i'm hoping that helps heat rises uh and i have two bread doughs so i kind of want to figure out how to keep it at a happy spot. I know that they take care of their babies really well, but I also want to lessen their load on having to try and keep them warm, pulling extra hair or whatever. Just trying to make things a little easier. So now that I see that this heat lamp plugged in overnight helps tremendously, I will start doing that to keep this room from freezing for the babies and rabbits. Then I don't have to use as many uh, bowls. We have two rabbits that absolutely love drinking out of a water bowl though. And it would be Rita. She loves drinking out of the water bowl. Hello Rita. And all the way down there on the end is Bunny. And he likes drinking out of his water bowl too. He did spill it yesterday. That's the first time. And I'm pretty sure Agnes likes it. But Agnes likes to play with hers. So come here baby. You pet your nose. You're so sweet. She growls. Let's see if I can get her to growl at me again. Right now. Because she's a bread girl. And she's never been a touch me not. She used to love having her belly scratched. And now she doesn't. So. She's not going to growl at me though. Look, she's like. She used to love you to pet her ears and everything. And she's just so stiff right now. I think she went ahead and took. I think she's bred. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and unplug it right here this lamp anyway I don't think I'll need it during the day I'll leave the other lamp it's plugged in on an extension cord to get it all the way back there until I get my which I know it's not totally safe I can see every inch of the extension cord behind me though <laughs> so there's that but I'm gonna go ahead and probably leave it plugged in until we get over that freezing mark my rabbits are back. sorry we get over that freezing mark and then I will unplug it sometime today but I I think I'll move it clip it up onto one of the rafters and just shine it into here to help kind of keep this place warm and I've been keeping the door shut and that helps I think a ton yet again world's worst at actually filming today uh, I moved this the heat lamp that was on the chicks here so it shines in here hopefully keeps this room a little bit warmer than what it, it is Let's see since having the door open it's dropped down to about 36 degrees in here and the the door is to the north which is the only place I really had to put it that's okay it'll be fine what I'm going to do I'll just shut it up whenever I'm done I'm gonna go get Maudie and milk her I gotta film it y'all see me milk a goat 100 times now and uh, then we can visit some more Do you ever get tired of seeing the same thing? Like I feed the chickens, milk the goat, all that every day. Talk about the rabbits. I feel like you do. <laughs> I did move my little chicken tractor over though, so they're not in less poop. I've been moving about every other day, just creeping it this way, but I don't want to go too far because I don't want the sprinkler from the aerobic system to spray them. So once I get this far, I'm gonna eventually take it back under the clotheslines and then they'll be in fresh, 
grass, sort of. getting an egg or so a day from I don't know where my axe is but the ice is not thick enough for that so I've just been using this uh, little cultivator is what it says <laughs> I use it in the garden a lot I like it it's a smaller one kind of like a garden rake and I can or a hoe and I can use it to get weeds up I'm not very good at keeping weeds out of my garden but I can also Are beautiful. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. Actually, since I have combined my uh, chickens a little bit, I have had less feed waste. So I'm using a little less feed, but I'm still feeding the same amount of chickens. I think that means that they, to me, that means that they aren't as messy. I'm not having to spread feed out as much and so they're a little more efficient with it. So on average I'm using, I don't know, probably about a quarter less than what I was. There's still, I'm, like all the pins are still getting about the same amount, it's just there's less that's getting left and wasted. Well, that's good. <laughs> My camera is about to die, this cold has zapped it. Thank you guys for watching and supporting us today. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate all that you do for us. Just your comments, your likes, your everything. Sharing us with your friends. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Y'all have a great day. God bless.